Hey guys, it's Brittany here. I hope you're doing awesome today. So today I have just a fun little haul video for you guys. I want to show you some of the crafts I've been up to lately. And of course they're all baby related because I am a little bit baby obsessed right now, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and I also want to show you some of my thrift store finds because I got some really, really exciting, awesome things. This time I was very, very excited about them. So keep on watching for some awesome DIYs and a cool haul. So the first thing, I had a lot of fun making and if you want um, a DIY tutorial on this then just let me know in the comments. But I made my own Wubbanub. Look! <laughs> Isn't it cute? But I think he turned out absolutely adorable. I'm so excited about him. Look at him! And this is on very securely. Of course, I can't guarantee that this will be as safe as the other Wubbin Ups because it's homemade, but um, I did like double, triple reinforce the soother on there, so it should be fine. But it's just whenever I have like a baby that's have, um, whenever like a little baby is gonna be kind of playing with this and sucking on it, just I'll always keep them like supervised just in case because that's kind of the same with all homemade stuff. You got to be careful just in case, but I did triple reinforce it so it should be fine anyway. But it's so cute. I love it. So what I did was I got a cute little beanie baby. It's a TY beanie baby. I used to collect these. I love them so much. And it's a perfect size and it's got some beads in it. So it's got some a little bit of weight but it's not heavy at all. <clears throat> So it can just lay on the baby's chest um, and if their little soother falls out of their mouth um, then they can just kind of grab the toy and put it back in. It's a lot easier for them and you don't lose as many um, soothers. And it's also a lot easier to find in the middle of the night I've heard. So yay! So um, yeah I just kind of I got one of these little soothers. Um, this one has a little bu kind of butterfly pattern on it so it has room for their nose so they can breathe really good when they're sucking on it and it also has a little tiny um, a piece of rubber that comes in but I attached it to him so it's nice and secure. That's so cute! I love it! <laughs> My second project that I've been working on is I bought a bunch of really cute fabric. Um, this is just flannel. It's like a micro kind of flannel, so very soft. Um, and I got this from Walmart. It was about 12 bucks for um, five different yards of fabric. So I got this kind. And I got um, this really adorable monkey one with like little girl monkeys and boy monkeys um, and the clouds. So I thought that was so cute. I'll show you a little bit closer up. <laughs> so cute. And it's just like the barrel of monkeys are all attached together. And I got this one. It's just an alphabet yellow one. And these are all kind of like gender neutral. And I got this one too with monkeys and some little flags on it. And I think that's so cute. And my plan for those is I'm making a bunch of burp claws with them. So they're all cut into the right size. I'm just going to um, sew them up and make them look really nice. So I'm going to make some burp claws. So I also made um, a wet bag for my diaper bag, which I'm very, very excited about. It turned out so cute. And I did all these by hand um, just because I didn't feel like hauling out my sewing machine and I felt like it's a nice mindful relaxing project to sew things by hand. So they might not be as perfect as if they're sewn with a machine but I really like them and they're very sturdy so yeah it turned out good. So this is a wet bag um, but it's a wet bag that you can put in your diaper bag, your purse for wet diapers, um, wet clothes anything that's been kind of like spit up on or pooped on or anything that a baby can produce because they can be quite messy um but you put it in here it's double layered isn't that so cute little picnic pattern on the inside i love that part i think it turned out really well um and i'll show you it all like done up because this is it open um, but yeah, so you just toss the stuff in there and it won't get the rest of your bag dirty and it'll contain the smell a little bit more. Um, so <laughs> it's just a cute thing to have and I just wanted something really soft and, and nice to throw in my bag and big too because sometimes your clothes get gross um, and they get stuff on them so you want to toss your clothes in there too and 
yeah, so you want like a pretty spacious bag. So I made it pretty big and I plan, like I usually carry really big bags anyway. So I plan on getting a very big <laughs> diaper bag. Um, so it'll definitely fit in there and I'll show you it all done up. Okay, so this is it all done up. Let's see if you can see better this way. Let's see, it crunches down to quite a small size, but there's a lot of room in there. And I did the handle just like the same as the inside and I think it turned out so good. So if you wanted a tutorial on this, I could also do that. Um, I'd be happy to. So cute, love it so much. And also very gender neutral, I think. So those are all the DIY projects I did for this week. But um, I also got some awesome things. So I went to Michael's and they had a really good sale on memory boxes. So I got some um, Recollections memory boxes. This is just in light pink. Um, and even if we have a boy, then I don't really care. I'll put pink in there. It doesn't matter to me too much. Um, and it's very light pink anyway. Um, or I can paint it. So not a big deal but anyways they were only 250 and I got two of those and I plan to store little socks pacifiers um bibs uh just like everything that's really small and can get lost I want to store it on top of a dresser um in these um boxes um and then I can fold up some burp claws and put them in there too just like all the little things so I can have them in one quick convenient spot so I'll put them on there so that'll be good <laughs> so here are one of the boxes that I got I'm just gonna show you guys if I can open it <laughs> all right so this is kind of an example of how I want to use it I have my wubanob in here and these are some of the finished um, burp claws so this is a really long one <laughs> And they're just hand sewn, like, if I did them, like, actually sewing them, it would be a lot neater, but it's pretty neat as anyway, but I just thought it'd be fun to do it like that. These are the burp claws, and you just pop those on your shoulder. They're... But this is my burp claws that I made, and I just folded up all the other ones in here, and I believe there's a binky in here somewhere, <laughs> like a soother. Um, this is my bag, and yeah, I was just... I went to my favorite thrift store, of course, <laughs> and I found some really amazing baby stuff. So these are some cute little pants, and they've got some cute little bare feet on them, and I think they were just adorable, and those are only a dollar. They have amazing prices there, so. So those are so cute. I had to get those, and they're my favorite color. Now these are the amazing find. These are from Carter's, and they're literally brand new. Not even joking. Like they're awesome. Look at this. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it so much. So it is a cute little towel, and this is the hood of it. And it's a little owl, and I just think they're adorable. I got these for two dollars, and they're normally like. $40 at Carter's so I was like sweet another one too I was so happy I found these because I think they're absolutely adorable and I wanted to get something like this for a little baby so this one is a mouse it's so adorable oh my gosh and this was two dollars too and I just think they are so sweet and I love them so much <laughs> so yeah <laughs> So that is everything from my DIY and thrift store haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm <laughs> and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. It really helps me out. And like the video if you liked it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.